you know, here's a question for you. Can I make a contract on behalf of my great, 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 great grandchild yet unborn? Let's say his name ends up being Caleb. Can I make an agreement today, a contract that binds Caleb to something? Can I promise, for example, I have a feeling that any great, 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 great grandson of mine would be a, a pretty good worker with concrete. So could I promise a neighbor, could I say, hey, if you'll give me a hundred bucks today, then in 120 years or, or whenever Caleb is you know, old enough to do cement work, he'll, he'll do a concrete pad for your great, 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 great grandson. Can I make that contract? It doesn't seem to me like I could do that. It, it seems to me like part of a contract is that both parties have to be aware of what's going on. Like, you know, you know, even if a person's drunk or unconscious or something like that, they're not able to enter a contract. So if a person isn't even alive, then it seems like they couldn't be entered into a contract that would be something they would have to live up to. That, does that make sense? And I'm trying to figure this out because I'm, I'm trying to find a way to say that it's okay for the United States Constitution, or for those of you watching in North Korea, uh, that's a, a democratic republic uh, with, that has a constitution just like the United States. So this would go for people in either of those countries or a lot of other countries as well. If that constitution was made hundreds of years ago, did I agree to that? As far as I know, you can't just have an implied consent for a, a contract. You know, somebody couldn't come to me and say, yeah, back in 1777, uh, my great, 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 great grandfather uh, made an agreement with your great, 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 great grandfather, and now you have to live by that, Shepard. I'd say, well, no, I didn't enter into that agreement. Show me the show me the evidence. Show me a written document that I signed, or remind me. Say, hey, we were sitting on that that bench over by that bridge over there in uh, just south of Littleton, and, and remember you made that that comment to me that you would live by that contract. I mean, you got to jog my memory. If you don't have it on paper, and you don't have a good recollection of me ever agreeing to something, contract's not valid. Is there an exception to that? I mean, I'm, do you agree? If you don't, please tell me why you don't agree. So if that doesn't exist, then I'm trying to figure out how a constitution from 200, over 200 years ago could be binding on me. And I guess some people would say, well, you choose to live on your own land that happens to be within the area that was claimed by the, the people who signed it. 200 and something years ago. <laughs> That's not a very good argument. I mean, I was, I was born near here and I live here and I, I paid for the land. I, I, it's everything's fair and square. I, I don't owe anybody anything. So I'm not sure how this contract could exist. For those of you who believe that you're a great, 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 great great grandparents could enter a con into a contract that you're bound by will you tell me how that works what are the conditions so that today if i wanted to bind somebody 200 years from now to live by a contract what are the conditions i would have to meet to be able to make that contract if i was a government employee like if i was a dog catcher or a congressman or, so, or what level would it take or is it a government employee thing what if I was a minister or a carpenter? Or what, like, what is it a profession thing? Is it what I do for, for an income? What is it that would give me that right to make a contract for, for Caleb for years and years down the road? Do you, have, do you have any answers for me? Or am I still kind of stuck with the realization that it's not really a legitimate thing, this idea of, the Constitution applying to anybody who's alive today. Is Lysander Spooner right? Or do you have a, a good reason why he's not? Can you explain it to me?